Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanna talk about how and when is the right time to build an audience. And I've been building my audience for about a little over two years now, since January, 2020. I've learned a lot of things, I've made a lot of mistakes, and I wanna share with you just a really simple breakdown of what you need to know before you start building your audience. And then also, how do you know when is the right time to start? And so before we begin, my name is Sean, and on this channel, I talk about how to create internet income from writing online. So if you want more content information around that, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And so I have this Google Doc on the screen. I've broken it down for you. And I wrote an email about this, but I wanted to expand upon it in a video. So how and when to build an audience online. There's four things that you really need to know before you start building. And it comes down to these four questions. So the first question is, who are you willing and able to help? Okay, not just willing to help, but able. So what I mean by that is based on your expertise, your skill levels, your results, whether it's for yourself or you've worked with clients or an industry before, who are you willing and able to help? And the more specific you can be with this, the better. Second thing is where are they now? So these are the pains and problems and the current situation of that person that you are willing and able to help. And I'll show you an example in a sec. Third question is where do they wanna be? What's the desired outcome? And this is often the opposite of the pains and problems, right, of question number two. And the fourth thing is how will you help them go from where they are now, the pain and problem that they're suffering from now, to where they wanna be, right, desired outcome. So example from my business for one of my offers, the email side hustle program, is this here. So who, are, who am I willing and able to help? Nine to fivers looking to start a side hustle and eventually leave their job. This is actually who I was a few years ago in 2016. I was working a nine to five as a corporate project manager and I was wanting to leave my job. I didn't like the job. I wanted to work on my own. I've kind of always wanted to work on my own as an entrepreneur and always want to work online. And so this is kind of speaking to who I was just a few years ago. Second question is, where are they now? Well, they could be hating their job. They could be feeling like they could be doing more in their life. They're wanting to make more money and then also wanting to work on their own terms with their own schedule and with their being their own boss, basically. And the third question is, where do they wanna be? And you can see a lot of this is just the opposite of question number two. So loving what they do, doing meaningful work, making the money they want, and then also working when they want and with who they want. And so the, the process on how I'm gonna help them get there is a few different things, right? I, I help people learn how to write simple emails that sell through my content and through some of my products. I show you how to get paid to do this for clients. I show you how to get to 100K plus in income by offering this skill and writing emails. And then also on the higher end after that, I teach you how to scale by building an audience and then productizing your expertise, creating digital products around what you know and your skill set. So this is an example breakdown of these four questions, these four things you need to know. And by knowing these four things, I'm able to create content and create products that help people go from here to here using my specific process. And if you go through my Facebook group, you go, you're go, you on my email list, or if you're watching my YouTube videos here, they help you move through this process, right? Learning to write simple emails, getting paid to do it, scaling up to six figures, building an audience, and also creating digital products. You go through any of my content, it's gonna fall into one of these buckets here. So that's what you need to know before you start building. How do you know when's the right time? And it really comes down to this sentence here. When you have achieved a result that someone else wants, that's a good time to start. I see a lot of people who struggle online with building their audience. They're wondering why they're not getting traction. They're not getting followers. They're not getting engagement. It's because it's very easy to tell who's done it, who's got the result versus who is just regurgitating something they read in a blog article or they read from somebody else or they watched the video and they're just repeating it. The people who are speaking from experience who have results to share that somebody else wants or a larger group of people wanna get as well, you can tell that they're speaking from experience and you can tell that they've actually gotten that result. So the right time is when you've achieved a result that someone else wants, when you've achieved this desired outcome. If you're going out, you're trying to build an audience on something you've never done before, it's very easy to see that and it's gonna be almost impossible for you to get traction. So really comes down to this sentence, when you've achieved a result someone else wants. 
Now, some ideas to get to this point. If you're wondering, well, I don't know where to start. I don't have someone I'm willing and able to help. I don't know where they're now. I don't know where they want to be. I don't have a process. Well, I have some ideas for you on how to do that. Number one, and this is what I did. I actually did a combination of these two, but I learned a money-making skill. I got paid to do it for myself and also for clients. And then I shared those results, right? I learned how to write emails that sell. I, I first started off writing for my own e-commerce stores and selling my own products. Then I started working with clients and then I started working with more clients and I started sharing the results of what was working by helping those clients out, right? The results I was getting, the case studies I was getting, the things and tactics that were working for me, I shared that to grow my audience. And if you go through any of my YouTube videos, that's what I'm doing. I'm sharing the things that are working for me from learning the skill and getting paid to do it for clients. Second thing, second idea is think back to who you were two to three years ago and help that person. And this is a really easy way to think about it because you will understand like how it felt. You will understand the problems and pain points that you've had. You will understand the process that you went through to, to achieve a desired outcome. And you can talk about those things. So on my channel here and in my Facebook group and email list, I talk about how I went from no clients to getting clients. I would talk about how I went from no results to getting results for those clients through email. I talked about selling my own products, digital products, e-commerce products. And so I can think back to who I was just a few years ago and just say, what would I tell that person? What would I tell previous me, right? Or, or younger me, if I was going back and I was trying to help that person out or help myself out, what would I be sharing? Right? What, what would I be telling them and the process I would give to help them go from where, they want, where they're now to where they wanna be. And so uh, I, I did a little combination of this for building my audience. I did learn a money-making skill. I got paid to do it for clients. I shared my results, but I also thought back a few years ago, back when I was in a job, especially when I'm launching my email side hustle program, I thought back to who I was and what I was struggling with and how I got over that. And that really helps me to create content, helps me to create products and services and helps me to build my audience. So that's a really basic way to think about how to build an audience and also when to build an audience and ideas, if you're not there yet, how to get to that point where you can start to build an audience and where it makes sense. Now, if you want more information around this, around building and monetizing an audience, I have a free course. If you go to seananthony.co, it's called the 1K Offer Buffet course. It's a seven day email course. If you give me your email address and your name there, you'll get that course over seven days and it talks about building and monetizing an audience through digital products and through creating content. So again, seananthony.co, you can go there, opt in, get the free course, and you'll learn more about this. But I hope this was useful and helpful to you. If it was, give it a like, let me know in the comments what you're building your audience around if you're planning on doing it this year, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.